हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज अ बेनाइट स्पेरोडाइट एंड मार्टिन साइज स्ट्रक्चर एंड व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दैट एज रिलेटेड टू द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दीज स्ट्रक्चर्स हाय आई एम डॉक्टर वसीम शेख लेट अस स्टार्ट इन एन अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट ड्यूरिंग द ऑस्टिनिटिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन we get perlite but other than perlite there are also some other micro constituents that we get during this transformation and one of that is bainite microstructure of bainite consist of ferrite and cementite phase bainite will form like needles or plates depending on the temperature of the transformation here in this image you will see that bainite is in the form of needles and it is looking very sharp and that is how it resembles and we know that the structure we got is bainite structure so this is a ttt plot where we can exactly see how we can form the bainite structure so the bainite structure will form when we rapidly cool the material below 540 degree celsius let me remind you once again that this ttt plot is for utec toid composition we have seen in an earlier video that ttt plots are different for different composition of material here it is exactly for the eutectoid plot of iron and carbon phase diagram so here if you want to get bainite structure as per this ttt plot we have to cool the material to below 540 degree celsius very rapidly and then we have to hold it at that temperature then do slow cooling and then we have the start transformation end transformation and you will get the bainite structure to get bainite one important thing you need to consider is that you have to rapidly cool below the nose so here the end point which is given on the ttt plot is called as the nose and you have to miss this nose to get the bainite structure if you are above that temperature and you have touched the starting transformation you will get some perlite in your transformation but if you want to get 100% bainite you have to miss this nose you have to cool the material below 520 very rapidly and then as soon as you have missed the nose you do any sort of cooling you will definitely get bainite when you touch the start and the end transformation lines as i said perlite will form above 540 degree celsius and bainite will form just below 540 degree celsius spherodite now let us see what is a spherodite structure if a steel either has perlite or bainite microstructure and it is heated to a certain temperature just below the eutectoid temperature that is 727 degree celsius and it is held and kept at that temperature for a very long time for a very long time means around 18 to 24 hours and then you see that the microstructure you will get is spherodite now what is peculiar about spherodite structure how it looks like let us see a spherodite structure will resemble like small spheres in a matrix of some other phase here that white phase which you see in this structure is nothing but alpha ferrite phase and the small small spheres which you see are nothing but cementite one more very important structure is the martensite structure the martensite structure is nothing but it is again formed when you cool the austenite at a very rapid rate you miss the nose and you cool the material in such fashion that it is almost at the ambient temperature means rapidly cooling to the ambient temperature you get a martensite structure martensite is a non equilibrium single phase structure which is achieved because of diffusion less transformation the quenching rate is so rapid that the carbon diffusion does not takes place that is why it is a diffusion less transformation very slight movement of atom is there and the atom will move very slightly and the material will go from bcc to bct which is body center tetragonal a typical martensitic structure will have a needle like appearance when you look the material through the microscope a typical martensitic structure will appear needle like the white phase which you see here is the austenite phase and this is a retained austenite it did not have any chance to transform into anything so it is retained and the rest is the martensite needle like structure the beginning of the martensitic transformation is shown by m start on the ttt plot the other two lines are nothing but m50 and m90 that is the 90% of martensitic transformation has taken place and 50% 
martensitic transformation has taken place so from austenite directly to martensite the temperature at which these lines are located will vary based on the composition of the alloy the horizontal and linear characteristics of these lines clearly indicate that martensitic transformation is independent of time and it is only the function of temperature so you have to cool it very rapidly drastically changing the temperature from above 727 to room temperature so it is not related to time it is only related to temperature let us superimpose a couple of cooling curves on the ttt plot and see what happens and what structure we get at the end of the transformation if you look at these cooling curves you will come to know that when you miss the nose and you cool the material you will get martensite structure and under any circumstances if you touch the nose of the ttt plot you will get perlite in addition there will be a range of cooling when you cool at that rate you will get both martensite structure and perlite structure together and if you relatively slow cool the material you will only get perlite structure so when you do fast quenching you miss the nose you will get martensite when you little bit cool it little bit slower and you are in between you will get martensite and perlite and when you cool the material very slowly you will completely get perlite structure this is the most important point now let us summarize all these possible transformation and then in the end let us see what is the importance of that how the properties are related to these transformation why we are studying about these transformation we need to know that when we are heating and cooling the material at certain rate we will get different different properties which we require for certain applications right so now here you see we have austenite so we are above 727 degrees celsius when you very slowly cool the material and you are cooling the material very slowly you will get perlite structure you are moderately cooling the material you will get bainite structure and you are rapidly quenching the material you will get martensite structure now here martensite structure is very hard it is hard and brittle it is associated with some property bainite structure also is associated with some property it is moderately hard and perlite is comparatively softer so the strength and ductility will vary if you are having martensite you are having the maximum strength but the ductility will be very less as you are going on and slowly cooling the material you will get bainite which is moderately strong and the ductility is also relatively higher and then you go on for fine perlite and coarse perlite when you cool the material very slowly you will get coarse perlite and then it is very soft and also it will not have that much of strength if you want intermittent strength you want to have a fine perlite which also gives you certain ductility and also certain strength so that is the importance of studying the ttt plot that is the importance of studying these phase diagram and learning about these transformation that when you are having certain transformation you are reaching certain phases you will be getting different different properties that is why we are studying about all these particular phases and there are some properties which are associated with these phases so thanks for watching all the best